Hi guys, Pepper Brown here once again. Uh, today we're going to talk about basic basics A.7. Maintenance of the nails. Maintenance of the nails. The fingernails. Now on your left hand, you keep the fingernails really short. And uh, you take one of these emery boards. You can get these at any Save-On or Long's Drugs or CVS, Pharmacy, Rite Aid, whatever drug stores you have in your area. They got these little emery board packs. I think they're less than two bucks. Uh, you know, 89 cents sometimes to see them. You, you go with, the orange side is rougher than the, the white side. So the white side, you start with the white side and you just file the fingernails. Okay, so here's what we do. We take our hand like this. And on the left hand, we keep our fingernails really short. We take the emery board, we just go back and forth. Now a lot of guitarists will say, you only go one direction. I've never found any value in just going one direction. All this seems to take like twice as long. If I just go both directions, file them real short, keep them filed, you know, and do it on all the fingers, you know, just keep them filed real short. Now, if you got a lot of nail hanging off, you want to use the uh, the orange side, and that because that's rougher, and you take off more nail that way, right? And you can smooth it out with the white side, like that, and you just do all the fingers with the with the, with the emery boards, okay? the thumbnail too. And on the right hand, we have the fingernails. I use these fingers as to grab the strings. So it's important that I, I keep the fingernails as smooth as possible. I keep this nail long, this nail long, this nail long. This nail I don't use that much because I use a pick. And this nail I use because I play West Montgomery style and some classical stuff. So these three nails are real important to me. So I, I file them down so they're smooth. You know, you want to get rid of all the burrs and rough edges around there. See, you don't want to have jagged edges on your nails. You want to keep them real smooth. So you just got to get these everywhere and file them down all the way you can, right? That way when you strike the string with your fingernail, it provides an even tone rather than a, a raspy tone or whatever. If you got really smooth fingernails, you, know, you can grab the string a lot better. See. Anyway, so that's what I do. I keep I keep those files sort of curved, and then this one I file off all the way. I don't ever use it. Okay, so then and then the thumbnail too. You file that one down. So you got to get these emery boards. They're like 89, 99 cents at Save On or CVS or anything like that. Uh, the next thing you do is tips of your fingers. If you guys have calluses on your fingers, uh, I read an interview with Stanley Clark, the bass player, and he said what he does is he took the emery boards and he would actually sand the tips of the fingers like this to get them all smooth. Okay. And just sand the actual flesh, actually the actual skin and get them all smooth. And you take your and you, and you can polish them on your sleeve polish them on your pant leg or on a piece of paper you polish them and they get real nice and shiny and it really really works to build up your calluses that way to so sand the tips of your fingers you know don't go too far but if you just sand them all nice and smooth and you polish them on a piece of cloth on your pant leg or a piece of paper uh, your calluses will come back much stronger okay so then what you can do is you polish your fingernails with, this, with an emery board and then after you polish your fingernails, you, you can polish the actual skin. And then you just you take them, you, you, you run them across your pant leg, and if you look at your fingertips, they'll be real shiny at that point. And then uh, when they when the calluses grow back in again, they come back stronger and you know tougher. So that's what I learned from an interview with Stanley Clark. He says he sanded, he used to take sandpaper and sand the ends of his fingers, and then polish them on his pant leg, and then play and play and play and play, you know. So if you guys want to build, build your calluses, you can sand the tips of your fingers and you get calluses built up over a period of weeks and you, and you keep the fingernails all nice and smooth and curved and you maintain them, okay? There's a lot of products that they have now that guitarists can use and paint, put nails on the right hand, paint nails and you can polish them down. I heard some of those that work and some of them people don't like, but uh, I've never tried it myself. There's a whole bunch of people on the internet selling them now. I was going to try some and 
see if they helped any at all on classical guitar. Uh, if you're like me, you end up using your hands to work a lot, fixing things, fixing computers, fixing printers, whatever, working on cars, working on everything, and you end up, you know, jacking your nails up all the time. So you gotta keep every boards around and, and polish them a lot, you know, especially if you play. Sometimes you break your fingernails a lot. Well, you gotta, at that point, you gotta cut it off with a nail clipper and then sand it down all the way so it doesn't grow back all jagged. So you gotta sort of take care of your nails. You know, I break them all the time, you know, working on stuff, uh, you know, working on computer equipment, working on studio equipment, cars, everything. Just, you know, you, your fingernails are the first things to get damaged when you're working on stuff with your hands. So you gotta take care of them, you know, and you gotta polish them and get those emery boards. And the next thing is, uh, you can get one of those uh, emery board blocks from any uh, uh, music supply house. Not really a music store as much as a, there's a place in LA called Musician Supply. It's all classical instruments like upright bass, cellos, and violins. And they cater to classical guitar players. Any place that really has, caters to classical guitar will have a, 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 an emery cloth block. And uh, I recommend those highly. Okay, so this is an emery board block. Uh, this was given to me by a classical guitarist named Michael Ryan over the University of Laverne. And it's just a foam block with some emery cloth on the outside. And uh, these are pretty much designed for classical guitarists. You just take these and you just, just polish your nails with these, you know. And it uh, seems to work really well, you know. They, they, they smooth out the nails. On, on the right hand, you want really smooth, smooth nails. The emery boards will get them smooth to a certain degree. If you play classic guitar and nylon string, you can get them even smoother with these emery, emery cloth things, okay? Really, really smooth for that really lush, beautiful, perfect tone that you're after. And you just polish them with this emery cloth. And uh, I've asked Michael Ryan where he gets these things. And uh, he goes, you can get them anywhere. Again, you know, we're talking about, uh, you know, our products that we can get, you know, like this two by four, you know, I got this at the helicopter supply store. And this, you might be able to find at the helicopter supply store. But uh, realistically, I think you probably have to look on the internet for these. Uh, classical guitar accessories, probably type in, right? Okay, so we just polish the nails with this emery cloth and, you, and you, then you polish it on your pant leg and they, it gets them all nice and smooth, you know? And you always want them smooth, especially if you gotta play, you know? Uh, when you practice, you wanna have smooth fingers. Uh, there's a guitarist named Ralph Towner who plays the finger style on a 12 string guild steel string guitar. And I think he might use some of that stuff to paint on your nails, because his nails seem to be really, really strong to play. And then, uh, you know, you just polish these nails and you, you do the same thing with the fingertips. You polish the fingertips when you, after you sanded them down with the emery board or the, or the uh, sandpaper. You just get, the, you get the, the fingertips really, really, really smooth. And you just work it a lot. You work it every day. You try to just work your own sort of style of sanding them, you know, and you know, get all the angles. You get them all smooth, you know. And as you work on it, you know, you, you'll smooth out your nails and You'll know what you like. You know how to keep them smooth and tight. Uh, of course, a lot of times when you play, your nails get all ragged and chipped on the right hand because you're constantly plucking the strings. Especially when you guys that play on steel strings, your nails get damaged all the time. So you constantly got to trim them and cut them and polish them and sand them and everything. So anyway, that's A.7, maintenance of the nails. And I hope that's of value to you. Again, if you have... Any other ideas that I don't know about, feel free to email them to me. And my email is peverbrown at gmail.com. And the website is www.pbguitarstudio.com. And this is Pever Brown, over and out.